Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and I want to show you some jigs that I make out of some fairly common scrap, which is, these, these are caps off of uh, oxygen bottles, shielding gas, argon, CO2, um, helium, things like that, um, and settling bottles have a, have a different cap, but I want to show you some of the jigs that I make out of these, because these are, these are pretty common scrap. If you don't have any of these laying around, they're not real hard to come up with. If you, you, they're all over the place at scrap yards and, and, uh, and you know, if you go by a machine shop or a mechanic, I mean, you're, these, are, these are around. And there are some neat things um, about these. First of all, you've got this nice dome uh, on top. You can, you can make a, a dome piece out of it or you can turn it upside down and make something to, to use as a a cupping tool. You can, uh, of course, the different sizes, which is good heavy stock, you can slice and make different jigs to make circles. Uh, you can cut it in half and make something to use as a, uh, a light bottom switch. But they're pretty neat, so I'm just going to kind of show you the process I go through. There's not a lot to it. Basically, I, I slice them and weld them to either angle iron or square stock that you can lock in a post vise or a bench vise. But these are just some ideas that may help you in a shop, uh, give you some if not free, extremely cheap tools to get some of your forging projects going a little easier for you. So let's get started on this. The first thing you have to do to make anything useful out of these caps is slice them up so you can use the different parts of them. So we're going to use the cap, we're going to use the middle, and we're going to use the, the little tapered end. Okay, here's what we've got. Uh, this is the, the very top, the little the little dome off of the, the top of the cap. Now it's also got a dish inside. You can use that for, uh, uh, you, you could weld it onto a piece like that and, and use it to um, dish in or, or, or something like that. But you'd want to reinforce it so it wouldn't put a lot of stress on it that way. You'd want to put some angle iron or something in here. But uh, all I'm gonna do is just weld it like that on that piece of square stock. This is just some scrap. Uh, 11 gauge, one inch tubing that uh, I had left over after a job. But that's just going to weld that on there like that. Uh, this is a, a piece of the top. We'll put it on there. This piece I'm going to put on here. Now, I'm going to be honest, I didn't block up my bandsaw, so it, it cut crooked on the last cut. But I've got this piece that I'm not doing anything with. So I'm going to throw it in the scrap. But, you know, if you didn't have a swedge block or or you needed different kinds of jigs, there's lots of things you could do with this. You could, uh, you could cut it in half and, uh, and weld it on that way so you had a, a type of a bottom switch you could use for some things. I mean, there's lots of things you can do with this stuff. I mean, not, not every piece of scrap needs to be thrown away. You can use a lot of it to make some really inexpensive and really cheap tooling. So I'm just gonna MIG these up real quick and and then I'll show you the final product. Here's the uh, finished product. Here's the uh, two circles welded to the square stock and the, the dome piece. Um, the way I make these to use is where you can lock them in a vise. One thing that you can use these for is uh, if you need to put some slight curves into some material, you can uh, put it on here and, and, and hammer it to put a curve in. Another thing you can do is with your stock hot, Lock it on uh, with a pair of locking pliers and you can bend it around to make a circle for whatever use you have. The, uh, the dome, of course, should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can use it uh, smoothing things out. Uh, you can use it if you're making small ladle cups. You can use it as a finisher uh, on that. Um, just. It's really just up to your imagination what these can be used for, but I, I, I've made several and given them to friends. I, I keep them in my shop and, and they get used fairly regularly. Um, but something will come up and it'll, it'll be, hey, I need one of those goofy homemade jigs. So um, anyway, just some ideas with what you can do with some common scrap there. Well, y'all, that was uh, uh, just some quick ideas of some things you can do. Hopefully that'll help you in some of your further forging projects or, uh, or any of your metalworking projects. But that's just quick, cheap, easy uh, things you can do. Also, you know, not only just using these caps, uh, also, you know, square tubing, pipe. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can 
you can weld to something, or just put a piece of pipe in a vise and you've got a jig you can use for something. It never hurts to have a lot of jigs in the shop. You use them for, for countless things, uh, and it really makes your life a lot easier. So just think outside the box when it comes to, uh, to doing something. And also, kind of my theory is, is if I'm doing some kind of production piece where I've got to make more than, say, five of something, I try to make a jig for it. Um, and then I take that jig and I label it and I hang it on the wall and I've got it. And if that project ever pops up again, I've got the jig to make it. Or I might end up using it for another project. Um, one thing that I keep jigs for is uh, the yokes on the big cast iron bells. Uh, people put them on post and then the post falls and the bell survives but the yoke breaks. So I fabricate yokes for those uh, using three quarter square stop. Now those bends for the different size bells, instead of having to take the bell and do it every time for the one, two, and three size bell, I have jigs where I can heat that material in my forge and clamp it to that jig and bend it around and unclamp it and put it back in the forge and heat it until I get it made. And that way, anytime somebody says, hey, can you make a yoke for this? It's not a problem. I've got a jig. So just think about that when you're, when you're setting up a shop and when you're getting ready to do projects. But anyway, I hope you all got something out of this video. Um, if you like the video, please like the video on uh, YouTube. And if you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe to Voodoo Tennessee on YouTube. Anyway, y'all behave yourselves now.